Hey Tubes, how are you guys doing? So let's get the Jane part out of the way first. It turns out that Jane is just a troll, and this was all Jessica Messica's idea. Cobraverse YouTuber Auntie Jessie interviewed Jane, and here's what she had to say. I'll link the full interview in the description. So, who the f*** are you? Jane? <laughs> who the f*** are you? <laughs> Explain I'm yourself! I'm boring. Like, oh. like, literally, I'm just a boring person. Okay. So, well, there's not much to know about me. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair. Then, who the f*** is Jane? <laughs> Jane was just a troll. And there's not much more to it than that. Okay, well, let's let's go ahead and, and start with an important question, because one of the main things that I wanted to, you know, very much make clear was that you were not grifting, or were you? No, 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 nobody was grifting. Like, there was never an intention to keep anything, so that never happened, though. Okay, so there was no grift. Um, mm -mm. as far as you were, did you have access to the GoFundMe? Was it yours? No. Okay. I had no access whatsoever. You had no access. So, um, I, I presume that Jessica Meska is the one that created the GoFundMe and was behind most of this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you choose to participate? boredom mostly and chaos like and like some lighthearted fun was needed because everybody's so uptight and there was so much doxing and everything else going on so i was like you know what let's do some lighthearted fun that isn't gonna hurt anyone and it didn't hurt anybody really well, so it it pissed off naked and laughing real good you 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 got well, well, yeah like fired up. <laughs> yeah, but nothing was gonna happen to her. Because once it came out as a troll, which it always was going to. Yes. They would have well, been fine, so You guys were you guys were um planning this out in the open. Exactly. Right? So eventually someone would have told her that it was fake. So, you know. In in a world wherein we had raised the nine hundred dollars and we actually had you know, changed our minds and we really actually want you to go out and do this. I mean, would you go out there and f*** the dude or just... I would never have f***ed him. I no, might have no. considered going out there, but like, if I really wanted to go out there, I, I could have paid for the ticket yeah. and done that. Yeah, I, I really I, liked I, that. I, I'm not f***ing a dude with herpes. I'm not f***ing a dude with herpes. I'm sorry, you cannot pay me enough to f***ing a dude with herpes. <laughs> Is the alleged herp the only thing that's keeping Jane from making sweet, sweet love to our goth king? Anyway, let's see what Queen Cobra has been up to. Time is just a construct. It's a concept. It's a construct. You used to call me on my big phone, shrimp side. I'm not peeing out the window. I'm peeing in a, the box that Chaos sent me. Yeah, I pissed in it twice, Chaos. <laughs> twice. I pissed in your box, baby doll. <laughs> oh, you're not going to see the piss box. If you want to buy it, you can buy it from me. $500. I will mail it to you. And all. If you want to buy it, I'll sell it to you. $500. Free shipping. Why am I peeing in a box? Because there's no f***ing, like plumbing up here and I'd rather pee in a box than piss on myself. Mm, it's a piss box, baby. Yes, it is cardboard and it's got peanuts. Probably the, like, potato. Well, no, the yeah, level. it's a it's cardboard a box and I did piss in it. Yes, the f I did. I don't give a shit. Turn your is that against the law? Peeing in a box? Uh, well. What's in the box? Like, in a box. Where's Josh at? I want to give Josh a golden show. It's on my website to match my brand. What is a jewel golden shower going to hurt Joshy? You wash it off within five seconds. Like, I love my Joshy. I love my Joshy. Where is he? I need my man. Where's my Joshy? He better not be jacking it off to the other women. Now, for the low, low price of just $500, you can get a cardboard box full of Queen Cobra's pee. Wow, what a steal. I know some of you are like, man, I'd really like a cardboard box full of pee, but $500 is pretty steep in this economy. Well, no worries. You can make your own right at home. 
Why walk down a whole set of stairs when you can just pee in a box? You may ask yourself, won't that leak right on through to the floor? Exactly. That's what you're going for. That's what your parents get for cooking the wrong package of bacon. That was my bacon that was in the fridge. That's twice now. I buy the bacon, someone else cooks my bacon, so I have to take someone else's bacon to cook my shit, and then someone still eats my <sighs> I want to bash my brains in. Anyway, on to the real star of the show. Cobes decorated his jacket with gravy. You know, I know how I get down. I love to dunk my KFC in their gravy. It is so delicious. You can see it here days later. It's never getting washed off. Here are some clips that I thought were entertaining, and then we'll get into the fish nachos and poop meat. Just because you take a woman out for a bite to eat doesn't mean she owes you shit, except me. You know, she had a good time, you know? You like the conversation. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure you're anxious to be kissing on her and all that, maybe squeezing some boobs, but here's the thing of it, Slick. Slow down. Elvis Presley said it, only only fools rush in, you know what I'm saying? Only fools rush in If I can't help Falling in love with you Shall I stay? Would it be a sin? Oh, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Well, I won't back down. It burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire, the ring of fire. One of my many talents, I can sing like Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash. No big deal. <laughs> it's the art of the dance. You know what I'm saying? It's the art of the fucking dance. This is why a lot of chicks dig me, because I have that asshole bad boy attitude, but I know how to treat women. Wait patiently, keep rocking your tactical soap, see what happens. Oh, look at that, I got a girlfriend, oh. I mean, does it doesn't suck that it's long distance? Yeah, but I'm willing to make it work. And if Jessica wants to move out to Casper, Wyoming, she's gonna have to save up a shite ton of money to do it. Like, a shite ton of people. And people are blowing up Jessica's chat to like, are you and Jessica going to get married? Uh, and I'm like, could you fucking calm down with that shit? We've barely even started dating. Jessica's definitely comfortable enough to fart around me, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> People are always going, well, what happens when you die? And I'm like, nothing. You rot in the ground. Where does your spirit go? You know, that's for a different video. You go to the afterlife spirit world so like if I now that I drank this beer now that it's empty guess what this beer is now available in the spirit world so if a ghost wants to have a Bud Light Lime all they gotta do is think it and then psh, it becomes reality all the food and drink that you consume everything has a life force everything has an energy because everything has a life force and an energy, if you drink alcohol and that bottle or can is empty, it then becomes available to the spirits on the other side. Why do you think they call it spirits? Huh? I'm going to have to get me some condoms when she comes over this month. Last month I didn't use any condoms last time she came over. and Thank God I'm not expecting or she's expecting you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah jessica's not pregnant so f off she doesn't have anything that that's contagious so double f off yeah i don't have herpes bud gonna have to ban you from your from the channel jessica has this thing where she does break out in cold sores due to extreme stress and I googled it, it is a thing. Now that we got the hat off, and we're showing off these luscious locks. Cobra thinks he looks like Ozzy Osbourne, please. He looks like Trevor Phillips and Bubbles and from Trailer Park Boys, and Ozzy Osbourne had a butt baby. 
that pooped out a fetal alcohol syndrome card. Cyrax isn't worthy to touch greatness like these guns right here. I tell you what, I, I let his grandmother touch me, but I wouldn't let him touch me. <laughs> like, if I had to Cyrax's grandmother to end sickos, I'd totally do it with him watching and tied up in a chair where he, he can't do nothing about it. Then I'd beat the shit out of him. This thing, yeah, it's fake. <laughs> this is the cap gun that I bought for my, uh, for my Halloween costume. Is Jessica hungry? Well, if I could afford it, I assure you. If I could afford it, I would door dash her some bratwursts. Which I think that, which I think that's cute that me and Jessica used to work at Wendy's. Green Giant yeah, at Wendy's. What? One of my YouTube fans sent me some big ass hot dogs and some lube because they're gay for Cobra. It's like, okay, I'll just save the lube for when Jessica comes over and then eat the hot dogs. Y'all are stupid. And believe me when I say this, if I could afford to send Jessica some bratwurst right now, I'd totally do it. But I is broke. I gotta have money for bills and rent and all that good shit. Believe me, I'd love to make one of my bratwursts for Jessica. The one, the hot dog that I made, you saw, y'all saw it, y'all saw it. I'm gonna take a, a pinch of Doritos and sprinkle that on top. And then I drizzle the topping off with our bacon ranch. Now those, YouTube, I would think are some uh, delicious looking bratwursts. What do you guys and gals and they thems think? I would gladly make a plate of those for Jessica. And like, if it pleases my queen, I'd like to present to you a delicious King Cobra food hack. Like, I am not responsible for the white souls that treated black people like shit. thank you very much if i had any control over it i would have been like knock it the fuck off how would you feel if you were treated like this oh yeah i didn't think about that treat others the way you want to be treated that's how i handle it and they're like well golly gee will it curse i wouldn't want to be treated like that and i'm like well there you go if you wouldn't want black people treating white people the same way you treat them, then fuck your racism, dude. 100. I would sacrifice my clock tower dream house to end sexism and racism. So go fuck yourself. And, you know, sometimes it feels like people don't appreciate what I do on YouTube. But that's okay. I'm not here for everyone else's opinions. I'm here for my own opinion. And I think I'm a bad dude. And when anybody else has to say. The good news is that he plans to use condoms when Jessica visits. Hopefully she doesn't poke holes in them. Now get ready for some glorious sardine nachos like you've never seen before. It's important to remember that Coves lets his food creations marinate on the counter at room temperature for 24 to 72 hours before he eats them. This just adds extra flavor. Refrigeration is for trolls and sickos. On top of those tapatio chips, we're going to add some medium cheddar cheese from La Crane. Excuse me, on top of those spicy Cheetos, we got our Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. We would pour the cap in there. And just pour a little bit on there, like that. 
Look at all these delicious snackable chips. Three different spicy chips. So now we're going to add uh, some more of our cheddar cheese. That is ridiculous. I got some sardines to put on top of it. King Oscar skinless and boneless sardines in olive oil. Look at that. And just drizzle that sardine juice all over our chips. Pretty straightforward. It's making these sardine nachos. For your sick entertainment. Look at that. We got some buffalo wild wings. We're going to add it. To the top of our nachos. Beautiful. Right on there just like that. Beautiful. We're going to take some buffalo ranch. Did I say buffalo ranch? Blah. F hard. I meant Hidden Valley Ranch. We don't have buffalo ranch at the moment. Well, that would be a tasty combo. Okay, so we got some regular Hidden Valley Ranch. Could the phone could stay up. Could the phone please stay up while I try to film this? Thank you. I do have a phone stand for this. But I don't know how to use it yet. Look at those nachos. Looking delicious. Now we're going to microwave. We're going to give it a one minute microwave burst. Oh yeah, these nachos are definitely done, son. I'll have to let these cool off for a bit before I do a review. But you can see all the cheese like on the side right here where it's melted right there and like look at that plate of nachos that's what's up nachos i made these nachos last night if you saw the uh the food hack you know what's up and i passed out before while i was letting them cool off they're still tasty, dude. Grab a chunk of chips, cheese, and fish, and go at it. I might have let them cool off a little too long, but I'm not complaining. It's food, you know, and that's something that a lot of people don't have access to. And that's the thing of it. There are people in third world countries who don't have access to food. That would kill for a plate of these delicious nachos. So, like, it makes me appreciate what I have in my life. 
and I hope the best for these individuals. Mmm, tasty. Cobra's magic allows him to be immune to food poisoning and botulism, but will the Circle of Protection cover Queen Cobra? Joshi is making Jessica some very special mead for when she comes to visit him around March 25th. I call it the poop mead because she's about to have the worst diarrhea of her entire life, and that's the best case scenario. Notice how the habaneros are a little old and wrinkly. One even looked a little moldy, but I'm not completely sure. He bought them days before starting this mead, and naturally, they weren't refrigerated. Take note of the extreme sugar content and how some old crumbs from the counter got stuck to the spoon and added in for extra flavor. So we're going to make a uh, habanero mango peach mead, and it's going to be delicious. The base for our liquid is a uh, orange peach mango. I think that that'll complement the habaneros quite nicely. Now Jessica is coming to see me for my birthday, and uh, I says to Jessica, I says, you, you give me some heads up, and I'll be sure to have, you know, I'll be sure to have a jar of mead ready to go. To start off our mead, we're going to need, <laughs> see what I did there, I need a rhyme. Two cups of pure cane granulated sugar. Making some mead, making some mead. And we're just going to dump the entire thing here. And then once it stops dripping, we're going to then, YouTube, we're going to take some cold water from the sink and swish it around in the honey container to get the excess honey out and just throw it in there. See, add some water to our container, give it a shake, shake it and keep it sexy as Tipsy Bartender once famously said. All right. Right here I have sliced peaches and sliced mangoes, both 100% juice from Signature Select. Both of these are in like a nice heavy syrup. This one's going to require a can opener. But this one, nah, we don't need no stinking can opener for the peaches one at least. Oh, Joey, you get to watch Cobra use a can opener. This will be fun. Let's watch the f***ing hard with his f***ing can opener skills. The lid, there we go, was stuck on the inside. We don't want that. Did I knock everything all over the counter? God, where the f did the other cup go? Oh, for f**k's sake. One f**king mead making video where I don't f**k up and make it mess of myself. That's all I ask. And we're gonna just kind of stir it around real quick. And give that a nice, a nice mix. Oh yeah, this is going to be a tasty mead for sure. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take our, uh, our habanero peppers. And I wasn't quite sure how to do this next point, but I'm like, you know what, let's just uh, take them, um, kind of, I mean, do we have to rip the stems off? Not really. We just kind of, yeah. I'm going to just tear them in half with my fingers and throw them in there. Kind of give them a pop and a squeeze. All that's going to get filtered out in like 12 days anyway. So like 12 days from now, we're going to pour our mead to a strainer. Stir it around town. Oh, yeah. That'll be tasty for sure. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now for the juice... We're going to add, for our base liquid, we're going to add 100% Dole Juice Orange Peach Mango YouTube. Take a look at that. Not a sponsor. And by the time my birthday come around, man, this mead's going to be done, son. So let's just throw this juice in here. Get in there, you son of a bitch. And you know what? We might add a little bit of this Mike's Hot Honey just for a kick. Woo, Jesus Christ, that honey smells hot. <coughs> oh, man. Yikes. Oops, did I pour the whole thing in there? Oh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, that, that's got a bite to it. That has got a f***ing bite to it. Damn, dude, that hot honey is no bullshit. Yep, 
Now, after licking the spoon, that's definitely going to be hot enough. Now we're going to add one cap full of yeast nutrients. And then we're going to add a little bit of our yeast. Stir that around. Oh yeah, that'll be tasty for sure. All right, let's try a lick on the spoon, see how we're doing on the profile of it. That's really good, YouTube. That makes for a very nice, tasty profile. I'm liking that. That's beautiful. All right. Now you know what's next. We're going to add the lid in the airlock. And the trolls can suck on my Booyah! We got mead. Now we're going to stick our jar of deliciousness into the fermenting closet. It goes. <laughs> By the time my birthday come around, man, them guys meat will be done. So there you go. There's that. I want to show you real quick. There it is. I'll see you in 12 days when we go to filter it. Oh, yeah. She's going to have explosive, fiery diarrhea. Was it driving anyone else crazy that the sugar on the bottom never got stirred in? I know that's the least of the problems here. All right, you cool cobras. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. All right. Toodaloo, folks.